the DeSantis administration is now scouring social studies books for prohibited topics. Members of the public reportedly applauded after one woman said, if they insist on having the books and if we don't win again, then just close down. This isn't for eight-year-old kids. This is for kids who are 12 or 13 or 14 who might actually be struggling with stuff. And reading this material, hearing about yourself in a book can actually save lives. It is officially banned Books Week, and it could not come at a more crucial time for our nation. All across the country, calls to ban books with topics addressing sex, gender, and race are growing even louder. According to the American Library Association, so far this year, there have been nearly 700 attempts to ban or restrict library materials and services, and nearly 4,000 titles targeted in that same time for censorship. Well, I am most honored to have the one and only LeVar Burton here with me tonight. He has had an extraordinary career in the arts, but many of us know him best as the host of the iconic and beloved PBS program, The Reading Rainbow. And he is this year's honorary chair of Banned Books Week. LeVar, I, I am I am so... Th I'm holding myself back from singing the Reading Rainbow theme song only because this <laughs> is such a serious topic. How worried are you yeah. by these numbers? Well, the, the one statistic that you, you, you didn't mention was that these numbers are up over 20 percent than last year. Um, it is alarming. It's concerning. But we are having a conversation in this country about a lot of things, about um, around who we want to be as a nation. And this is as important as it gets. So do you see this as a silver lining, right? Because we're talking, because we're fighting back, waking up, to these yeah. book bans, do you see it as a net positive that, that the hatred isn't sort of under the surface? It's out there, and it's out there for people to fight back against. Absolutely. And, and, and I think that, that's a, a positive thing. Um, look, every book is not for everybody, Steph, but I believe that, that there is a book for everyone, right? And... As a parent, I believe that you should have the right to monitor and have a say in what your child consumes in, in terms of literature um, and media. But what you don't have the right to do is impose your beliefs about your children on everybody else's kids. And censorship is just not OK. So we have to have, uh, you know, a, a no nonsense conversation that involves common good common sense. And when people say that there are no books being banned, then they're just ill-informed or being willfully ignorant. And I hear all the time on my social media that I'm a pedophile because I, I, I want kids to have access to books. If, if, you're, if you're reading literature about uh, racism, bigotry, um, violence, uh, sexual assault, uh, murder, suicide. It, kids will have a vocabulary to deal with these situations. And what the other side, the rhetoric that they're engaging in, fails to recognize the belief that age appropriateness is first and foremost the, the, the thing that we have to be mindful of. Like I said, Every book is not for every body, but every book, there's somebody that is destined to read it. You very famously played a very important role, a slave in Roots. In this climate today, especially in places like Florida, would Roots even be nationally mm. televised? I think there would be resistance to it, but again, it's a story that needs to stay alive in this culture. Um, there's a lot of retrenchment going on. I don't need to tell you, Stephanie, in this country, especially around the issue of, of, of um, history and how it's being taught and who it's being taught to and those who are um, trying to, to further the efforts to not teach the real history of the United States. We have a real serious problem in this country owning up to who we are and how we got here. And we are doing our children a great disservice by censoring the very material they need to be learning so that they can make informed decisions about who they want to be in this society. Saturday is Let Freedom Read Day, where people are asked to take one action to defend 
books from censorship. What could that look like? Right. What do you want people to do? Support your, your, your teachers, your school librarian, um, publishers, writers, readers. We, we all have a stake in this fight, in this conversation. No one is immune. We all need to wake up, pay attention, and recognize that there are people who are trying to, to really take away our right to read. Um, this is not okay, not in the America I know and love. And so we are celebrating banned books. Read the banned books. I like to say that's where the good stuff is. Well, LeVar, it is up to us to lead an America that we want to live in. And every day we have yeah. a chance to do just that. LeVar, it is an absolute honor and a privilege to meet you. It's a dream of mine. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm a big fan next time in person, huh? Call me step at one point. Did you hear that? <laughs> LeVar Burton, thank you so much.